Hello friends, welcome back to Embedded Solutions. Today we are going to make a water level controller. Components of the control system. This is STM32F103 blue pill board. XC04 ultrasonic sensor. And this is the display PCB we are using our display. Uh, the display bare PCB is purchased from NSK Electronics. I given the name and details in description also you can see in from this question. Okay, let's start our project. First of all, I will give a brief explanation about the ultrasonic sensor HCSR04. It consists of a transmitter antenna and receiver antenna. Transmitter antenna will transmit ultrasonic wave towards the object. Uh, that we will get reflected from the object and that will receive by the receiver. And uh, we are measuring the distance by calculating the time that uh, elapsed between the transmission and reception. Okay, then we can see a close look of HCS software sensor. Uh, it consists of a trigger pin and echo pin. The trigger pin we are using for triggering the transmission. If we are giving a 10 microsecond pulse to trigger pin, transmission will begin. The transmission consists of a 8 burst of ultrasonic waves. Once the transmission completes, echo pin will be high. Echo pin remaining in high state until the reception begins. And then we will measure the time in which the echo pin is in high state by means of a counter or timer. Uh, we are using HTM32 uh, controller for measuring the time duration and this time duration will be actually directly proportional to the distance we are going to measure. In our project, uh, we are placing the ultrasonic sensor in the top side of the water tank um, as in the figure. Let me see the calculations related with the ultrasonic sensor. This is actually the speed of sound in air is equal to 0 0.034 cm per microsecond. So the total distance travelled by ultrasonic wave we can calculate by the echo pin high state time in the 0 0.034. Actually we don't want to measure this much of distance because we want to know the distance between the target and the sensor only. So we have to divide the total distance by 2. That we are seeing in the fourth step actual distance is equal to echo pin high state time into 0 0.017. Okay, then we are going to find out the actual water level. Uh, now we are getting the actual distance, that is the distance between the sensor that we place in the top side of the water tank from there to top surface of the water only we are getting. So in order to find out the actual water level, we have to subtract the actual distance from the total tank height. That will give you the water level. That is showing in the fifth step. So we are going to display the water level in terms of percentage. So for that we have to divide the actual water level divided by the total tank height into 100. as conversion percentage formula only. Okay guys, then we will go through our hardware section. This is our hardware. And the front plate made with acrylic sheet, acrylic sheet of 3mm is commonly available one and uh, bike box is actually 6 into 8 concealed electrical wiring box uh, this is a display PCB actually the display PCB is 4 digit multiplex display we only require 3 digit uh, from display PCB to STM32 we have to connect 3 display driving lines and 7 LED lines these are the display driving lines and uh, this is LED driving lines okay then the next step is we have to connect some event leds there uh, for some low level indication high level indication dry run indication so some leds are placed there and one buzzer is also there buzzer will give one sound information along with an event uh, then transformer and these are the stm st link driving lines these lines we are used for programming and debugging uh, this is a transformer 12 volt 1 ampere and the corresponding regulator IC back capacitor and all other circuit details I have given in the description you can check there no issues actually these lines are some critical because these lines are echo pin and trigger pin that I connected to a RS232 converter actually this RS232 is meant for Logical conversion only, not actually a serial conversion. Uh, here is our TTL signal as 0 to 5 volt will coming in trigger and echo pin. 
but uh, it is not able to drive a length of 20 meter or 10 meter 20 meter because cable capacitance will be there so that we should consider in our design so maybe tank and the controller will have such a distance so there's some logical conversion is there okay you can use any differential transceivers here uh, like ILS 743132 combination or any differential driver here I just uh, kept a RS-232 line driver so here this TTL signals are converted into differential line uh, then the other end uh, the sensor end the differential signal should convert back to uh, TTL logic that VCB I kept uh, in along with sensor uh, you can see it in figure The differential lines we are taking out through a D9 connector. Uh, then one more connection is there. There is an optional lines. If you want to start your motor automatically or automatically start or automatically stop, uh, you can use these signals. This is a 5 volt signal output for uh, motor start and stop. This optional lines are not included in our program. Uh, then this is a C input line. Okay guys, uh, this is our hardware section this much only and then we can make a walk through our code the code is developed in kill micro mdk5 and uh, this is the major part of our code here we are setting our parameters full tank level in our case 80 centimeter and uh, dead band uh, dead band is such a distance between a sensor and uh, water head at the full tank level condition in our case it is 60 centimeter then lower level cutoff the lower level cutoff we set it in 5% and the upper level cutoff we set it in 96% uh, the entire section we can update as per your condition you measure the things and update here no issues the remaining section of the code is initialization and uh, global variable declaration etc uh, then here we are triggering the hc04 here we are getting the, res the result and uh, height that again it converting into percentage here is a low level uh, condition here we have our low level trip is set in 5 percentage this code block is dedicated for low level trip and this code block is dedicated for upper level cutoff and here is the acknowledgement code section actually in our system we put an acknowledgement push button this function of the acknowledgement button is to stop the alarm sound uh, if a lower level cutoff or upper level condition happens then corresponding LED will glow along with an alarm sound the alarm or siren we can stop the alarm sound or siren sound by pressing the push button acknowledgement button that logic is implemented in the acknowledgement section you can add your own codes here uh, like a dry run protection or uh, automatic motor start or automatic motor stop anything you can add sequentially here this section you can add in cut this section and you can upload this code now sure okay no worries you can check the whole code in description i upload the entire things there and then guys we can check the working of actual system let me see okay we powered on our system you see the current level is about 80 to 83 percentage uh, water pump is working tank is filling up we can see the level is also increasing uh, you can see some fluctuations in the level while tank is filling this is due to the reverberation of the water surface uh, the reverberation may happen because the water is discharging from the pump so some fluctuations in the water level is also there and the corresponding reading is also fluctuating here okay you can see we have set it into high level production in 96 percentage so above 96 percentage will give an LED output along with the siren sound we can see the level is approaching 96 yeah level just across 96 percentage we got an LED indication and a siren sound okay in order to stop the siren sound we have to press and hold the acknowledgement button until the sound stop okay guys thanks for watching this is our water level control system